Yesterday afternoon, I had the opportunity to go up to Jupiter Hospital and uh, greet and welcome the newest member of the congregation, a little six pound baby girl named Elaine. And as I prayed with her mom and dad, and I prayed with her holding her in my arms, I, I just felt so blessed to be able to experience such joy in a world where it seems like joy is hard to find. You and I are so overwhelmed by our disagreements with one another. The divisions among us just seem to grow stronger and stronger and wider and wider. You know, it's even now becoming commonplace for us to defriend friends because we don't disagree about the political world in which we're living. And I think that's too bad. I think at the end of the day, that hurts all of us because we stop seeing the world with the joy and the wonder of that new life. Tomorrow evening at the 5.30, we gather around the baptismal font where these waters will once again, you know, um, cleanse and, and give new birth to little Eli as he's made a Christian. And we celebrate with joy the gift of God's life and love in his heart. I hope that you will find balance in your life by remembering that today is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. See the beauty and the wonder around you. Give, give homage, if you will, to the new life that is always in our midst. Go to the beach and take a look at an early morning sunrise. Give a phone call to a friend and tell them that you love them and that you appreciate them in their life. Come to church and give God your thanks for the gift that is this life and all that is good in it because that life, you know, with God's love in our hearts and around us can overcome all division and it can bring peace and reconciliation not only amongst each other, but right here in your own heart. So may you know that kind of joy this day. May you open your eyes, your ears, your minds, your hearts to all that is good in this world. Never give up on God. Never give up on one another. And give thanks. We'll see you Sunday.